Why is all this steel still sitting here on the pallets instead of being a solar ground mount? Well, we got in a discussion, Elena and I, about the, uh, the solar mount and she really explained that she wanted this to be a yard. So over the last uh, month and a half or so, I've been cutting trees all the way down. I've been uh, mulching and uh, bushwhacking. And uh, just today, I, g I got that tractor rental and I'm gonna go through and be able to start moving some dirt around uh, as well as uh, all the way up over there. That was all overgrown. So I have been uh, working every free moment I had just on this, and that's why I haven't been posting any new solar videos, uh, but I got all this cleared out, uh, some more trees taken out in this area, all of this cleared out. This was all overgrown with trees and uh, shrubs and hedges and vines. Oh my goodness, the vines on this property were just crazy. These mounds of dirt were left over from building the house when I dug out for the crawl space. And I'm going to move them all to the backyard here and fill in where this old garage used to be. And that's what I use the water level for, is uh, marking out where the level line is. That's what the orange line all the way around the property is. As well as some excess dirt over there. Uh, I'm going to dig out and bring over this way. So I'm going to get started on that. After I get this area graded for a lawn, then I can work on setting up the, uh, the solar ground mount, which I still intend to set up right over there. Uh, the other fun thing, just a side note, when I took that tree out, it's a red oak, and I cut up these planks with a chainsaw just freehand and sealed the ends with some glue but uh, that'll be on my other channel because it's uh, more of a woodworking thing just for fun first time trying to do that and uh, yeah here's the chainsaw I've been using uh, this is a uh, 460 rancher so I think it's a three and a half horsepower yep all right thanks for watching